All right, well, it is eight o'clock where I'm at. Finally got my high voltage packs for my shrimp outrigger. We're not gonna run the 4S pack. We're gonna run the 3S packs. So I've got this 3S pack here, charging on the little Spectrum Smart Charger. High voltage, it's gonna be 4.35 volts per cell. And then we're also gonna run this one. We're gonna run this, they're both Theoretically, they're both 2200s. They're literally identical in size. This one's just 4.2, and that's 4.35. So we're going to take them out to the pond. We're going to run this one first, do some ovals, test top speed. Then we're going to test the high voltage pack, do some ovals, test top speed. All right, I'm running out of daylight, so we're going to see how fast we can get this done. But it honestly, to me, it's perfect timing because the sun's not out, and it's not too terribly bad. Cool. It's weird how when you're like under hard throttle, it pulls one way. I still ain't been able to get on it full throttle. That was a full throttle hit right there. Just a little bit. Alright, I'm going to adjust my trim back. That's weird. Okay. She goes crazy. I'm going to make some... Uh, I'm going to make a turn fin tonight. That way when I try this again, I can have a couple different turns in. She is rolling, dude. Whoa, that's crazy going the opposite direction. Wow, she picked the whole front of the boat up. All right, I'm gonna do a cool down lap. And then we're gonna bring it in, check the temps, and swap that battery out. Ah, hung some grass. That right there goes to show you how nasty the pond is right now. It's absolutely disgusting. Ugh, oh, gross. Alright, let me open it up. Alrighty, I got the tape taken off. Let's go ahead and open it up. Alright, no smoke. Let's smell it. That's good. No electrical smell. We were doing some pretty good ovals. Small ponds, hard to get top speed out of it. 56 miles an hour. That is freaking stroking it in this tiny little pond, dude. Holy crap. Alright, let's go ahead. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it off right now. I'm going to blow into this, try to cool it down. And uh, let's see if I can pull that battery out. Not bad. No puff. That's a good sign. Let's see. Uh, let's check the temps real quick. Forgot to do that. 125, 127, like clockwork, man. And then 126. So everything still runs at 125 degrees. That's perfect. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to let it cool down for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to run the high voltage pack. Okie dokie. SMC 2400, 2200. So theoretically, this would be the 2400 since it's a 4.35 volt. So we're going to be sticking this in. 
fits beautifully. It's actually slightly smaller than the uh, HP. Uh, this is an 80C, that's a 75C, but this is slightly bigger, just ever so fatter than the HV pack. Let's get it. All right, well, the sun's going down and the frogs are coming out. <laughs> All right, high voltage pack, 3S, let's get it. noticeably ooh, noticeably faster like crazy faster wow holy crap definitely definitely in the 60s Whew, oh my god all right i'm gonna do uh two more laps and then i'm gonna let this thing cool down since we're pretty much doing back-to-back -back runs here I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool down and then we'll pick back up in a couple minutes. All right, it's been a few minutes, let's get it. Yeah, 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 there's grass over there. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Whew, that's crazy. All right, let's try zoomed out. This is just half throttle. All right, time to bring it in. All right, let's open it up. Pray for no smoke. No smoke, that's a good sign. Let's go straight for temps. Huh, 107, what? Okay, 123, that was normal. ESC 140 on the back side. 145, 132. Back to back runs. Back to back runs. Let's see. Yeah, that that <laughs> EC3 connector is hot, boy. Boy, she's hot. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's check. Let's check the speed. Oh yeah, wire's hot. I bet you she did 60, man. I'm telling you. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Come on. What? Why didn't it register? 58, yeah! Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, it was stuck on the regular speed. All right, so 58, not bad. We got a two mile an hour increase. Looks like there's a little water in the boat. Little bit of water in the boat. I noticed like right here, I think my uh, my glue had let go. Only on a, a portion of it. Not bad, not bad. Could have been because I just let it sit in the water for five minutes to cool down. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull that battery out. I'm kind of curious to see the battery. Let's see. Uh, she's just hard to pull out. All 
All right, cool. Got the battery out. Looks good. I don't really think there's much puffing on it. Maybe a, maybe a slight little bit here at the top. Can't really tell. Nothing drastic, but I mean, she's warm, but she's not like 130 degrees warm. Let's see. Yeah, see, 112. So it's actually cooler than the HP pack was. Well, let's set them side by side just to show you comparison in the thickness. Like they're practically identical. Um, this one, the H, the uh, high voltage pack is just slightly smaller slightly smaller but yeah hey 58 i can't complain the small pond i know i probably would achieve better speeds than uh 58 miles an hour if i had a bigger body of water um and who knows i, I was dragging stuff but um uh you know i think it did did really well i think if i came out here when it was cooler and just ran this pack um and i had a better design turn fin i'm gonna make two of them that are different variations to where I can test turn fins now because I think that turn fin over there is really giving me a fit because if you look here if you look at the input of my rudder I gotta compensate see how the rudders um, angled to the left that's what I've got to do I've got to I've got to angle the rudder to the left because the boat constantly wants to go let's see it constantly wants to go to the right so i've got to angle it to the left so that's causing me drag um but i mean that makes sense you got more drag on the right side of the boat boats are supposed to turn to the right but i need this thing to go straight look at that we got looks like we got fishing line wrapped up in the prop or something some sort of hair it's definitely not helping it yeah okay yeah the pond's really really far down like you see right here the pond's down like i don't know four or five inches but uh it's just the summertime i guess cool just want to thank y'all for uh helping me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers next goal will be five thousand that'll probably happen in uh, over a year's period of time but um this channel is just my fun haver channel so that's all I really needed. I needed to just get to the thousand. I want to thank y'all. And um, this rigger is absolutely a blast. Hopefully in the future we can get us a bigger one of these things. But for right now, I actually like the smallness of this. Because I have access to this little baby pond right here behind my house. Which really makes it easy for me. Because it was 8 o'clock when I decided, hey, let's go run a boat and make a video. And now the sun's gone. And I still got just enough daylight to finish the video. So I just want to say thank y'all, and uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. 75% of y'all are not subscribed. So if you love anything RC, just do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button, whether you watch any more of these or not. Because I'm going to test a whole lot of product throughout this. And I typically give honest reviews because I'm buying the stuff out of my own pocket. It's not being given to me. So I'm going to give it a real honest review, good or bad. You've already seen it with the 10-shock motor. So, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.